Thanks, Sophie. And Stephen Keshi has been sacked as coach of Nigeria's Super Eagles again. The move comes barely two weeks after the Nigerian Football Federation opened an investigation into reports that Keshi had applied to manage Ivory Coast. Keshi, a former captain of the national team, led the side to the 2013 Nations Cup title in South Africa and also qualified the Super Eagles for the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, where they reached the second round before losing to France. Here's the BBC's Onua Shino Okeleji. It is not clear why Stephen Keshi was sacked, but the move comes barely two weeks after he appeared before the Nigeria Football Federation's disciplinary hearing for applying for the vacant Ivory Coast job. But the country's football authority said in a statement that his contract was terminated because he lacked commitment. Stephen Keshi's position has been unstable for years. He resigned after winning the 2013 African Cup of Nations, returned only to be sacked again in October 2014, then reinstated by then Nigeria president, Good luck, Jonathan. Shaibu Amodu, who was confirmed as technical director last week, has been installed as caretaker manager. The veteran coach is returning for a fifth stint as manager of Nigeria. What Nigerian football needs right now is stability in the coaching post to improve the fortunes of the Fortran Super Eagles. Meanwhile, international football returned to Liberia on Sunday when the national team drew one all with Guinea. But the draw was not enough to keep Liberia in the African Nations Championship or CHAN qualifiers. It was Liberia's first home match after the lifting of a 13-month Ebola-induced ban. Liberia needed to overturn a 3-1 deficit from the first leg of their 2016 CHAN qualifier.